So when you guys think of OC game, you're gonna think of the guys clicking the circles to the beat. They're gonna be clicking the circles, clicking as fast as they can with the Wu Ting keyboard, trying to go as fast as they can, trying to do the ring index, the index middle, and they're gonna be tapping absolute god mode 300 BPM death streams on because maybe or something. But you're gonna see these people doing the craziest things. And some of you guys might be wondering, okay, how do the heck do the OC players not get RSI or carpal tunnel, which is essentially repetitive strain injury where you're gonna be tapping so much that perhaps you could injure your wrist or injure your fingers like how do people prevent this injuries how do people not get this well usually for osu players you don't really see this that often unless you're playing osu so much or doing tapping with a really weird and bad technique that it completely messes up your wrist but in most cases i don't think it's very common amongst osu players i've personally never gotten this rsr carpal tunnel but in this video i want to talk about this top osu speed player the best osu american speed player perhaps that's a controversial take i'm not going to say the best osu speed player in the entirety of the osu history because that's going to be a very controversial take but for an america probably a lot of people would agree with that but siso the goat of osu american speed he's a goat of speeding the goat of playing rog on dt the goat of playing snow goose on dt he's a goat of telling you guys to take a shower like he's an absolute goat of a lot of things right and siso here what happened a couple hours ago is that he said that guys i have carpal tunnel which is essentially this condition where it's a nerve pain within your wrist that happens when you're going to be tapping so much on osu that you're going to have this really sharp pain and while you're trying to play you're going to be like oh my god i can't i can't play because it hurts so much and it's essentially this nerve pain type of deal and brave ai's definition of carpal tunnel syndrome of cts is caused by compression of the median nerve in the wrist typically due to repetitive movements or poor posture so i'm not really a doctor but it seems like this just happens if you just have very poor technique while playing osu or perhaps you're going to be playing osu so much that you're going past the limits of pain that you're like dude i gotta get this 2000 pp record but you're gonna completely wreck your nerves here so that's what happened for siso here and it seems like he's just also getting rsi as a result so rsi and carpal tunnel are not the same thing carpal tunnel is a type of rsi while rsi is just a broad umbrella term for a lot of repetitive strain injuries so it's not just for fingers rsi is rsi works for anything else maybe you're gonna be bobbing your leg up and down or me bobbing back and forth having these fucking autism bobbies that you got like to say but that's the deal here with Sito getting it so why is this a big deal you guys are probably thinking okay the best osu american speed player got freaking carpal tunnel well obviously this is a pretty big deal because Sito is out here being the absolute goat of american speed and just speed in general and now that he has this condition he can't really play as much osu anymore because if you're gonna actually have rsi or carpal tunnel and your fingers you're you're it's gonna be very hard to play speed which is Sito's main skill set because he's gonna be tapping at the speed of light trying to tap faster than minecraft osu players trying to jitter click on minecraft pvp or perhaps the roblox players on track racer trying to do q and e try to beat the other players trying to get to the finish line like you can't really tap that fast if you have carpal tunnel because it's gonna hurt a lot and perhaps some of you guys might be thinking i'm david god because i'm the goat i'm gonna push through this pain who's gonna carry the logs and the circles or something no 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 this thing it's a pretty big deal with pain man so sito here he can't really play a lot more osu if he actually has this and as we all know in the body pain is an indicator that something's going on when you're doing that action and your body's trying to say okay you should stop doing that thing because it's painful it's a signal for you to stop doing that thing so sito's body here is like dude i think you should stop playing osu so that would be a pretty bad thing for sito here it's going to ruin a lot of momentum that sito was having in terms of his speed improvement this could mean that we're not really going to see a lot of sito speed scores into the future because if you have carpal tunnel you're not really going to be able to play a lot more osu right you're gonna have a lot of pain if you're going to try to play and it seems like recovery periods for rsi i'm not really sure what's the actual proper technique to restore rsi condition here but it seems like if you just do not play osu just try to recover it perhaps do some stretching or something for about three to six months then you can fully recover but it seems like you'll also get some extending pain afterwards that might happen like some phantom pains like i for one used to have a bit of a nerve pain with my back because i used to have really bad lifting posture and i actually cured it by walking it and doing some therapy on my own it took a couple months to fix it right but i still have these little bits of phantom nerve pain to this day which is kind of painful right so siso here if he actually does fully recover he's still going to have a bit of wrist pain most likely because of this whole event siso here it's kind of a sad thing to hear about him i hope he does get better with this because he is the absolute goat of american speed right here i don't know why i'm saying american but he's he's the goat in that category in terms of the whole world, it's debatable on who really is the OSU best speed player right now. So 
that's just my take on this whole topic. I hope he does get better, Mr. Stitho here. For the people out here who are playing a lot of Osu and can be prone to get a lot of injuries like this as well like they're doing eight hour osu sessions maybe they're osu 420 doing 420 hour osu sessions every day like obviously if you have any type of sharp nerve pain while you're playing the game you should stop playing immediately like just stop playing and just go touch grass or something but if you're just having a bit of a soreness while playing i feel like that's okay because that means your muscles are improving and getting better because if you're out here doing bicep curls in the gym right you're going to have a lot of soreness afterwards which is a good thing because your muscles are recovering and getting better but in osu game it's kind of the same thing as well when, with your fingers but if you have this very sharp nerve pain while you're tapping you should probably stop right so that's just my advice and i did talk about this for another player where he essentially did the same thing i'm assuming he probably has a bit of an rsi because he was out here playing osu 10 hours a day trying to compete with his friends it was this really addicted osu player a very sad situation where he actually got a little bit disabled because he was playing so much osu trying to compete with his friends that he actually disabled his wrist and has to play with like wrist wraps and stuff and like Brock Lee from Naruto or something. I don't know, man. It, it'll, it'll be kind of crazy though. So <sighs> that's just the general voice and tips. If you have any crazy pain while playing, stop playing. So that's pretty much all I want to say in this video. And I hope Sitho recovers. This kind of sucks, but yep. I'll see y'all.